Hello everyone, I just want to film my April 2019 TBN. Don't mind my cat just walking across my bed. And these are some of my really loosely put books. The weather's getting nice and I'll probably be outside more. I've already read like 112 books, so this year I need to slow down a bit. Alright, so I'll, I was in the middle of Crown of Midnight last month and I didn't get finished with it, so I'm on page 91. But I want to finish that and then move on to The Assassin's Blade and In the Fire. I know that's quite ambitious, alone right there. I also want to finish The Golden Lily, which I'm on 179. And then continue on with The Indigo Spell from the Bloodline series. I'm really liking it. It's just, it's a slow read for me. So hopefully I can knock both of those out. I also wasn't able to finish All Your Plinfits by Clean Hoover and Anna Dressed in Blood by Condana Blake. Last month I started those with part of my A T V and I just didn't get to these two. So hopefully I can finish them this month. My younger friend challenged me to read Inagon and Maleficent this month. Which he thinks is quite funny because I'm not looking forward to reading either one of them. I did write like Inagon the movie. I just feel like the book might not be for me. And unpopular opinion here, but I really didn't like Maleficent the movie, so those should be fun to get through. I also want to get through the Knits 10 Babies in the Club books, and there's a super special in there that's being requested right now, so technically 11 of those to get through. I want to finish the trilogy and with the Winner's Kiss. And I think it's a bit of a chunk of Yeah, it's definitely a chunk of but I'm hoping to finish that out this month. I wanted to get to it last month, just ran out of time. I also didn't know that How to Hang a Witch had a sequel, Haunting the Deep. And I'm really looking forward to reading this one. Hopefully it doesn't let me down, because I really liked the first one. I also want to reread the Burn for Burn trilogy by Jenny Han and... I'm sorry, I don't know how to pronounce the name. Siobhan Vivian. I really, really liked these the first time I read them, but it's been a couple years. And I want to see if my reading taste has changed at all, but I'm a huge fan of Jenny, Jenny Han. Total huge fan. I also forgot that I was in the middle of As Old As Time. Well, not really in the middle of 23, but I really would like to get to that one too. And I really want to get to This Adventure That Ends by Emma Mills. And just to show you how much I love the library, here we go. I checked out and I saved two hundred and twenty dollars and seventeen cents this year alone. I saved three thousand five hundred and seventy nine dollars in a penny. And since two thousand nineteen, I saved twenty seven thousand nine hundred and fifty nine dollars. That's insane. That's how much I love the library. I check out books and movies though, just so you know.